Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you what I've done to my Bowflex in order to make it heavier. I bought this used, and as soon as I got it, I noticed that these weights aren't anywhere near what they say they are. Um, if I was guessing, I'd probably say mine are about half of what they, they're supposed to be. When I bought it, mine already had these extra 50s in the back. Um, that's what Bowflex calls the 310 upgrade. And then I added the 410 upgrade, which is extra 50s on this side. And I can tell that the 50s that I added are a lot stronger than the 50s that were on it before. So these rods really do break down over time. So the other thing that I did is I added this plate down here. I got this off of eBay. And what it does is it makes all the bars bend from the plate um, instead of from the bottom. And that makes all of the rods just a little bit stronger. The really nice thing about this is you can pull it up when you're not using it. You pull it up and it holds everything in place like it's supposed to be so that they don't bend on their own. And the next thing I did to make it heavier, as you've probably already noticed, is I added these bands. And I was able to do that by putting carabiners on this loop up here. I got, a, I got this loop that holds on the, the pulley. So I just put a carabiner through that hole. And then I ran all these bands through the carabiners. I got two carabiners on each side, or one on each side, rather. And I bought these off Amazon. I got a bunch of different uh, weights here. Uh, it came with a ring. So what I do is I hook as many bands as I want under the ring. And then I'm able to stick the ring in between a couple rods, put the hook in between all of them. If they're in between the rods, it makes it, it just holds this on so it doesn't fall off. And doing this, I'm able to lift to failure, even on things like squats and deadlifts. So this has been fantastic for me. I don't know exactly how much weight it really is, uh, but I'm able to track it and I'm able to lift to failure, which is what matters to me. So it's been great. The other thing that I would recommend that you do is rotate all your rods. Uh, when I first got mine, they were kind of bent way out here. So by rotating them 180 degree degrees, then they come towards the middle. And the other problem that I had is the smaller ones that were, were in the back, they were bent towards the front. And what that meant was every time that you lifted something, it would come up and it would run into this bar here, which was really annoying. So by rotating them all, it solved that problem. They're really easy to rotate. Um, this plastic box in the bottom that all the rods go into, it's got two screws in the bottom. You just take that out and slide the whole box out with all the rods. Each rod is forked at the end, and then it fits over a piece that's in the bottom of that box. So you want to loosen the screw that's in the bottom of the rod, pick it up, rotate it 180 degrees, put it back down, tighten the screw. Really easy to do. Uh, the whole thing took me about 10 minutes to do. And I'd recommend you do that. It probably makes it slightly stronger, but more importantly, it'll fix any issues you have if yours is running into this bar like mine was. All right, so I hope that helps. If it did, please like and subscribe. That would help me out. Thank you very much.